Russia's Shahed drones cannot fly properly to targets in Ukraine. That is why Belarus is in danger. A Russian Shahed drone has flown into Belarus for the fourth time. Last time, combat aircraft were raised over Mahiliu. Why are kamikaze drones increasingly flying over our country? The Charter 97 website spoke about this with Ukrainian military expert, co-director of foreign policy and international security programs at the Razumkov Center in Kyiv, Oleksiy Melnik. He said that the first thing to pay attention to is that this is no longer an accident, but a certain pattern. The incidents are happening with increasing frequency. If the Russian Federation, together with Belarus, does not analyze the situation now, does not find the cause and does not take measures, then we can assume that these incidents will become more frequent. If we talk about the reasons, the most likely one is failures in the satellite navigation system. It is possible that the Russian or Belarusian military are intensively using a GPS jamming system in the area which could have caused the receiver of this Shahed to receive false coordinates and accordingly causing it to turn towards Belarus, he added. According to Alexei Melnik, there could be a number of reasons. If there is not one system but duplicates, then let's imagine that the GPS is jammed but navigation continues using the inertial system. Figuratively speaking, there is a computer that determines the location by speed and course heading towards the target. The disadvantage of this system is that the greater the distance the device flies, the greater the accumulated error. These are the most likely reasons. It is also possible to assume that this could be the result of electronic warfare on the Ukrainian side. I do not know how to do this technically, but ideally, the same Shahed could be sent to the place from which it flew, he added. Is there a danger that such a UAV could fall on a Belarusian city? Melnik replied to this question. If it cannot fly to the place where it was sent, then everything else depends on chance. When it runs out of fuel, and if it is shot down, then where will it fall? It would not be superfluous to recall that, for example, at least several dozen gliding air bombs fell on the territory of the Belgorod region. There was a case with the collapse of the entrance of a residential building where it was a Russian bomb that fell from the east. If the government of Belarus allows its airspace to be used for waging war, then probably it is necessary to soberly assess the risks associated with this, he said. Putin is currently extremely close to losing Crimea, Russians prepare for landing of Ukrainian army. The famous British journalist Tom Sharp is convinced that the illegitimate president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, is currently extremely close to losing the occupied Ukrainian Crimea. Crimea is currently fed by two arteries, the Kirsch Bridge and a new railway line, which are within the range of American ATA CMS missiles. According to Tom Sharp, it is quite possible that the armed forces of Ukraine do not need to risk the lives of their soldiers to deoccupy the peninsula. The journalist of the Telegraph tabloid suggested that all that is needed is to block the enemy's supply arteries, increase the pressure and wait until the missiles, ammunition and main supplies of the Russian army run out. After that, the expert suggests that Ukraine will watch the bills mount as the dictator will be forced to burn resources to hold onto the peninsula, achieving nothing but a propaganda loss. And to this, the factor of inconvenience and Crimea will become not just a significantly reduced operational base, but a negotiating point of strategic importance for the entire conflict. Tom Sharp emphasized the Russians are already preparing for the landing of the armed forces of Ukraine in Crimea. The head of the Mejlis of the Crimean Tatar people, Rifat Chubarov, told journalists about this. According to the politician, the occupiers were afraid that there was currently a serious threat of the landing of the armed forces of Ukraine. They came to this conclusion after analyzing the armed forces strikes against Russian army air defense and logistics facilities. And based on the fact that the vast majority of the ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet have been relocated to ports on the territory of Russia itself, the enemy has decided that there is now a greater threat to him in terms of a possible landing by the armed forces of Ukraine, explained the head of the Medjlis.